I'm Bracken Crocker, head coach here at Leaderboard, and in this video we are going to break down our standard training plan. The standard path for athletes is a season-long progression, and I really emphasize the word progression. This plan follows and mimics the OCR season. It, it reflects the different changes throughout an OCR season, and we just progress throughout a 365-day training plan so that you are ready to adapt to every single style and duration of race throughout your calendar year. Now this is the standard plan, but it's not a basic watered down plan. This is a plan that is based off 90% of what I do on a daily basis. It takes out 10% that's personal to me and adds back in 10% that is um, very applicable to the vast majority of OCR athletes. But this is a plan that I wholeheartedly trust and follow in my own training to prepare me for every style of racing. This is an all encompassing plan. This does not focus on any one skill set. It focuses on all skill sets necessary to be effective and to have confidence in yourself as an OCR athlete. So you're going to work on hills, you're going to work on speed, you're going to work on carries, on rigs, on endurance, on stamina, on transitions. Every little piece you could possibly need as an OCR athlete will be addressed throughout this progressive program. The beginning of most race calendars start with sprints and shorter distances and expand out to supers, mid-length distances, and long distances to end the year, and that is how our training plan progresses. We are not having a huge periodized training system where we build big endurance and then work our power and our stamina and then build some speed and then sharpen up for a race because that doesn't work as well on the scope of a 365-day season. In OCR, we have to be prepared to race in January, in June, in August, in October, and so we need to be fit to race at all times. And so we work, work on every aspect of OCR every single month, all year long, so that we never have that, that moment where you arrive at a race and think, man, I wish that I wasn't, um, I wasn't letting a few aspects of my training slide during this as I worked on other pieces. You walk up and say, this is June, I'm in the best shape I've been all year. And a month later in July, you get to show up to a race line and say, it's July and I'm in better shape than I was in June. And then you get to August and say, this is the best I've been all year. Every single day we're working on improving. And we do this through the use of microcycles and nanocycles throughout our training. Microcycles are a pretty standard training term. It is a smaller piece of your training program. And we use two weeks of, of bigger work, um, uh, more intense work, and then a third week of a deload week. So we do hard week, hard week, deload, and then we repeat hard week, hard week, deload. And the pieces that make up those hard and deload weeks shift and change throughout the year as different skill sets are emphasized, but we're always working hard or recovering. And that is reflected in our nano cycle. Nano cycle is not so much of a standard term, but it's very unique to, o to our leaderboard OCR training program in that we are always working hard and always recovering. So we start with a quality day, followed immediately by a recovery day, and that is followed up with an easy day. Adding that extra easy day at the end of our nano cycle ensures that we have absorbed and recovered from the quality day so that we can adapt to it and then have our improvements show up immediately and move on to our next workout. So we work hard, we recover, go easy, work hard, recover, go easy, and we just repeat that all the way through. So you're always recovered, you're always feeling good, and you're always adapting to your workload. Even though this is the standard training plan, you're not just left out alone on this plan with follow this. If it works, great. If not, sorry, this is the standard plan. No, we have a lot of personalization built into this plan. We have the ability to spit, pick your specialization wads, your spec wads as we call it. Focusing on rigs, focusing on heavy carries, you pick which one you're not as good at or which one you need to improve on or which one is going to be emphasized in your upcoming race. And we work on that with extra workouts each week. Everyone's pacing is personalized. We put a lot of emphasis on benchmark testing throughout Leaderboard's standard program, and we use those benchmark tests in order to identify the paces we need to work at. So every quality day is going to be scripted for you what pace to be working at for what duration. There's no thinking, there's no guesswork. You just put in the work, you get a pace because of the work you put in on your benchmark test, you follow that pace, you get better, and as soon as you adapt to it, we make your pace a little faster or we extend it for a little longer. And through that model, we just keep that progression all throughout the year and you're constantly getting better and you're never overtraining. 
Also, we personalize your volume. When we talk volume, we're talking time on feet, how long you're working out for. Some people can't run every day. Some people have to run twice per day. Some people can only run 30 minutes at a time. Some people have to run 60 plus minutes every day to maintain their fitness. It doesn't matter as long as it's the correct stimulus for you in this moment. And so we help personalize your level of volume. Everyone sees a workout volume and duration for that day that is unique to them as an athlete. So throughout this time, we're gonna personalize your volume, personalize your paces, and you will have unlimited Slack access to Zach and myself, the coaching team on Leaderboard, and you will be able to give us your questions, comments, concerns, and we'll be able to help you make decisions that you need as an athlete to progress throughout your OCR season and target the races you wanna target. And one of the ways we help do that is through the use of tapers. We have a couple different style of race tapers we can use depending on you as an athlete and depending on the type of race you're about to do so that you always show up at a race rested and ready to attack it and ready to use all this fitness that you've built throughout the year. You can't help but get better on this program. It is so progressive in nature and it is based on the workout and testing feedback we get from you. So you are always working at the correct intensity and you're always recovering the correct amount. Hop on this plan and let's make you the best OCR athlete you can be.